if his supporters were euphoric. His critics were stunned, calling this a reckless stunt. The president, almost certainly still infectious, last night left the hospital to drive past the crowd outside. Those here are his ultra-loyalists. God bless our president! I will die for him! I will die for that man, happily! I will die for him! Anybody want to mess with him, you mess with me first! He is a hero, that man! But this scene, one of the most bizarre of his entire presidency, may have put some of his own Secret Service agents at risk, even if they were wearing additional equipment to protect themselves. The president declared proudly he now finally understands COVID, itself a jarring comment given the death toll. Well, it's been a very interesting journey. I learned a lot about COVID. I learned it by really going to school. This is the real school. This isn't the let's read the book school. And I get it and I understand it. And it's a very interesting thing. And I'm going to be letting you know about it. In the meantime, we love the USA and we love what's happening. Thank you. But this virus is still spreading across the West Wing. Now Kayleigh McEnany, the president's press secretary and the face of the White House to the world. What's up, Mark? Has tested positive. She took off her mask yesterday to talk to reporters, a number of whom also have the disease. The possible super spreader event was this occasion on the South Lawn nine days ago, the nomination of a new justice to the Supreme Court. When few masks were worn, but there were many warm embraces. One of the enduring medical mysteries about the president's condition is that when he arrived at the hospital, he had been given oxygen and a highly experimental drug, all suggesting he was seriously unwell. And yet there is now talk of him leaving hospital soon. A striking temporary memorial has been placed outside the White House. 20,000 empty chairs, each chair representing 10 people lost to the virus, a stunning visual representation of the scale of what has befallen this country. Most outside medical specialists are dismissing as irresponsible the idea the president could be discharged from the hospital and returned to the White House here later today. But it may of course depend on who is calling the shots, the medical team or the patient himself. Robert Moore, ITV News, at the White House.